week 5 solving problems involving normal probability distribution. So for this given session, we are going to solve for the area below the mean, above the mean, and between A and B. So area under the normal curve below the mean. So consider this given problem. Given a normal distribution with the mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 5, so find the area below 45. So for this given type of problem, we are going to use the approach or steps in getting the area to the left of the C-score. So first thing is you have to construct a normal curve. Then consider the following values as mean equals 50 and standard deviation of 5 to get the raw score of this given. So the mean is equal to 50, the standard deviation is equal to 5. So you have to add 5 to the right side to get 55, 60, and 65. For the left side, you have to subtract the value of the standard deviation. So 50 minus 5 is 45, minus 5 is 40, minus 5 is equal to 35. Next thing is illustrate. So find the area below 45. When you say below 45, so to the left of 45. So you have to say this given section or region. So for your solution, so consider the values for x, um, mean and standard deviation. So the value of x for this given problem is equal to 45 since we are looking for the area below 45. Then the mean is equal to 50 and the standard deviation is equal to 5. Then we will use this given formula to convert 45 as c score. So c is equal to x minus mean divided by the standard deviation. So C is equal to 45 minus 50 over 5. So 45 minus 50 is equal to negative 5 and then copy uh, divided by 5. So negative 5 divided by 5 is equal to negative 1. So you have C is equal to negative 1.00. So next approach is you have to use the C table in order to get the area of this given C square. So to the left of negative 1.00. So use this table, C is equal to uh, 1.00, negative 1.00. So let's say for this given um, situation, the value of our row is equal to um, negative 1.0. So again, the value of our row is equal to negative 1.0. Then for our column, the value of column is equal to 0 0.00. Then to get the area, you have to get the intersection between negative 1.0 and 0, 0.00 using the C table. By getting their intersection, the intersection of this given problem is equal to 0 0.1587. So for our answer, the intersection, the number of the normal, the area of the normal distribution below 45 is equal to 0 0.1587. So this will be our solution in getting the area under the normal curve below the given mean. How about if you have a problem about area under the normal curve above the mean? So consider the same problem given a normal distribution of 50 and a standard deviation of 5. This time around, you have to solve for the area above 53. In getting the area above the mean, you have to use the formula or approach in getting the area to the right of the C-score. So, we have a series of steps in um, getting the area to the right of the given C-square. First um, step, you have to construct a normal curve. Then consider the value of mean and the value of the standard deviation to have your uh, raw scores from 35 to 65 and your mean is equal to 50. And then, next thing is you have to grab yung part ng 53 since you are looking or asked to solve for the area above 53. So, hanapin mo muna yung 53 in this um, given and then enclose this part since it is above 53. So, meron tayong um, to the right of 53. So, makakover yung 55, 60 up to 65 of this given graph. So, for our solution, so for the value of x, the value of x is equal to 53 since it is above 53. So, the mean is equal to 50. Standard deviation is equal to 5. So the same approach, you have to convert the value of 53 into a C-score. 
So, meron tayong 53 minus 50 divided by 5 to get negative, to get positive 3 over 5. So, 3 divided by 5 is equal to C equal 0.60. So, ito siya. So, C is greater than um, 0.60 since we are looking for the area to the right of 0.60 or the area above 53 in terms of raw score. So, ito siya. C is equal to 0.60. So, consider this given C table. The value of our row is equal to 0.6. So, where 0.6? 0.6 here. And then, the column is equal to 0.00. So, to solve for the area, to the left, kasi we will use this given region in order to solve for the area to the right naman. So, get the intersection. The intersection between 0.6 and 0.00 is equal to 0.7257. So, this will be the approach or steps in getting the area to the right of the C-scores or the area above the mean. So, first thing is consider this given normal curve. So, for this given normal curve, ito yung general illustration natin for the standard normal curve based on our property. Yung whole normal curve natin is equal to 1. So, the area of the whole curve Um, standard normal curve is equal to 1. And then minus yung area na hinanap natin ganina. Diba? In this given problem kasi, you have to um, get the area to the left of 0.60 or yung below um, 0.60. So based on our C table, yung sinolve natin ganina, the area is equal to 0.7257. In order to get the area to the right or above the given mean, you have to subtract the whole, the complement of right to get the uh, section to the right of the given C scores or even row score. So this will be the illustration for uh, the, this given problem. And then you have C is greater than 0.60. Then lastly, subtract this area, so 1 minus 0.7257 to get the whole area. So the area is equal to 0.2743. So the area of the normal distribution above 53 is equal to 0.2743. So the same approach lang siya in getting the area to the right of this given C-score. Then next, um, third condition, the same problem given a normal distribution with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 5. Find the area between 40 and 42.52. So construct a given normal curve for that given problem. Then consider the value of mean and the standard deviation. So you have the given values 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. But since you have a given problem, find the area between 42.52. So ito yung 40 natin. And then you have 52, a number between 50 and 55 in terms of this illustration. Then next, for our solution, the value of x is equal to 40. Then the standard deviation, um, the given mean is equal to 50. And the standard deviation is equal to 5. So this time around, hanapin muna natin or convert the given score as 40 in terms of C-score. Then afterwards, Um, convert 52 in terms of C-score. So, dalawang beses natin siya gagawin. So, you have C is equal to X minus mean divided by the standard deviation. So, 40 minus 50, ito siya. 40 minus 50 divided by 5 is equal to negative 10 divided by 5. Or simply, C is equal to negative 2.00. So, this will be the value of 40 in terms of C-score. Then, for the other part, for 52, Value of x is equal to 52. And then the same uh, mean, mean is equal to 50. The standard deviation is equal to 5. Then solve for the c-score. So for our c-score, my, uh, 52 minus 50 divided by 5 is simply 2. So 2 over 5 is equal to c equal 
So yung 52 natin as the raw score is equal to 0.40 in terms of C score. So we will use um, our, this illustration to illustrate um, the area between 40 to 52. Inclose lang natin siya, yung 40 up to 52. And then next thing, ito yung mga values natin for the C score. And then ito yung pinakabuong notation natin. So C is um, greater than negative 2.00 but less than 0 0.40. Then next, use the C table in order to solve for the area. So for this given case, di ba meron tayo dito ang masasolve for the bigger region minus the smaller region to get the area in between A and B. So the value of C is equal to 0 0.40. Then use the C table. So for raw score, yung raw score natin in this problem is equal to 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.4. And then our column is equal to 0 0.00. Ito siya. So get their intersection to get 0 0.6554. Then next one, uh, for this part naman, yung kabilang C score naman natin. C is equal to negative 2.00. And then use this um, C table once again. Then the value of row is equal to negative 2.0. Then for our column is equal to 0 0.00. So hanapin muna natin yung negative 2.0. And then the value of 0 0.00. And then get their intersection. So based on their intersection, the value is equal to 0 0.0228. Then ito na siya. So for this part, yung bigger region natin, ito yung form natin in getting the area to the um, left of 0 0.40. Then the area is equal to 6, 0 0.6554 based on the C table minus the area form by C is um, great, um, less than negative 2.00 or C to the left side of negative 2.00. The value of the area is equal to 0 0.0228. And then lastly, to solve for the area of the normal curve between A and B, you have to subtract the area of the bigger region with the area of the smaller region. So ito siya. This will be the illustration. Then lastly, subtract the following terms. Yung 0 0.6554 with 0 0.0228 to solve for area 0 0.6326. So for our answer, the area of the normal distribution between 40 to 52 is equal to 0 0.6326. So last problem natin to, application pa rin pa for the area in between A and B. So area under the normal curve, consider this given problem. So in a certain Barangay in Caloacan has a population of 3,000. If the ages of the population in the area are normally distributed with a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 10, how many would you expect to be ages to be aged between 23 and 52 and also yung percentage of the person between 23 and 52? Lagi ko na lang siya as some sort of follow-up. So for this given problem, construct a normal curve. Then after constructing the normal curve, consider the value of mean as 40 and the standard deviation as 10. So this will be your uh, values for the raw score. Yung mean natin is 40. And then you have 50, 60, and 70 because you need to add the standard deviation since you are going to the right side. Then going to the left, subtract 10 with the given mean. So 40 minus 10 is 30, minus 10 is 20, minus 10 is 10. So this will be your um, illustration. Next one is consider the um, cis, uh, value of the given raw score and then convert the raw scores into cis scores. So the value of x for the problem, ito dalawa na to, yung 23 and 52, convert natin siya in terms of C score. So x is equal to 23, then mean is equal to 40, standard deviation is equal to 10. So we will use this formula to convert um, the given raw score into C score, yung 23 muna. 
So, 23 minus 40 divided by 10 is equal to negative um, 17 over 10. In terms of decimal, you have C is equal to negative 1.70. And then, for the other one, convert 52 in terms of C score. X is equal to 52. Min is equal to 40. And then, our standard deviation is equal to 10. So, the same approach. C is equal to X minus mean divided by the standard deviation. You have 52 minus 40 divided by 10. So 52 minus 40 is equal to 12. Then just copy 10 to get 12 over 10. 12 over 10 is equal to C equals 1.20. Next thing is you have to um, enclose yung given section natin, yung terms natin, starting from 23 up to 52. Based on the problem, you have to know how many would you expect to be aged between 23 and 52. So, enclose natin siya. So, meaning, yung approach na to is the same with getting the area between A and B. So, this will be our um, notation for that given um, area. C is greater than negative 1.70 but less than uh, 1.20. So, use the C table to solve for this given problem. Subtract the um, bigger region with the smaller region to get the region in between. So, C is equal to 1.20. So, ito siya. So, you have the value of rho as 1.2. So, this will be 1.2. And then, our column is equal to 0.00. And then, get their intersection. So, based on the intersection, so the area of this is equal to 0.8849. So, tama siya. Next natin, for the other C-score, C is equal to negative 1.70. Use the C-table once again. Then, the row is equal to negative 1.7. Ito siya. Then, the value of our column is equal to 0.00. And then, get their intersection. So, their intersection is equal to 0.0446. So, this will be the area of that given region. Next thing is, in order to solve for the area, subtract the areas of the two region. Yung parehas na to the left. So, area is equal to 0.8849 minus 0.0446 to solve for the total area in between. So, the area in between A and B is equal to 0.8403. But if you want to convert this given area in terms of percent, you have to multiply this given area by 100. So, yung 0.8403 natin in terms of percent is equal to 84.03%. So, you have 84.03%. Next thing, follow up natin, di ba? Since based on our problem, we are talking about with the term how many, di ba? For how many, since we are looking for the number of people, so consider the uh, total number of people in that community or in that given city, you have 3,000. Then multiply natin with the given given area, yung 23 to 50 to eh. You have the given area of 0.8403 to solve for the number of people in between 23 and 52 or 23 to 52 so by multiplying this given you will have um you will have 2520.9 or in terms of whole number you have the area equals 2521 so for our answer the percentage of people AJ23 to 52 is equal to 84.03% or in terms of area you have 0.8403 in the total number of people AJ23 um, to 50 uh, to 52 sorry 23 to 52 is equal to um 2521 so, so that's all for our discussion for today Thank you for watching and listening. Stay safe and God bless.